Hey viewers, welcome to Let's Play Homeworld Cataclysm. Originally supposed to be an expansion to the first homeworld, this was released as a standalone in 2000 by Barking Dog Studios. And it's actually, and don't hit me for this, it's actually my favorite of the three homeworld games because I'm a big fan of any kind of apocalypse, endgame scenario, storyline where, you know, everyone's back is against the wall. I mean, admittedly, to be fair, in the first home world, after the Kushan got their planet blown up, they were very much against the wall. And unfortunately, that little mention of back history also reveals another problem with the homeworld cataclysm. Viewers, you probably don't have the giant wrist thick, approximately. I have thin wrists, leave me alone. Wrist thick manual slash backstory setup. So, I'm going to play a normal because I want to beat the game. And again, I encourage you to check out the Homeworld Wiki, Encyclopedia Hagara. You might get spoilers, but it'll explain a lot more about Kith. And quick summary Kith Somtow, and I'm probably going to mispronounce that are a bunch of miners. We mine. That's our thing. We're not warriors, we're not politicians, we pull rocks out of other larger rocks. Which for me I guess is kind of fitting given how much I hate rocks. Anyhow, with that said... Ooh, training. I should probably do that because they changed all the controls. Besides, sweet 1080p. How nice does that look? Welcome to the Homeworld Cataclysm Tutorial. Thank you. This tutorial is divided into 12 lessons. Each lesson has objectives listed in the bottom left corner. As in the regular single player game, clicking on these will provide you with detailed information about an objective. This is another objective. And of course, if anyone wants to skip this viewers, you are welcome to. If at to. any time you need more information on how to complete a lesson objective, Clicking the objective listing will give you instructions. But this if is you are base. familiar with Homeworld and know how to complete an objective without explanation, you can do so. You can even skip the objective altogether, though a refresher never hurts. You can proceed to the next lesson at any time by clicking the button labeled Next Lesson. You can restart a lesson or go back to a previous lesson by clicking the button labeled Restart Lesson. Pressing the backspace key will skip from one speech event to the next. For this tutorial, it is best if your key configuration is set to the game's default. I'm not going to change that. If you have altered your key bindings in the options screen prior to beginning the tutorial, you can reset them by pressing Escape. This will bring up the game menu. From there, you can access the key configuration settings by clicking the options button. Let's go to the next lesson here. Camera. Camera hundred gears horizontally. Get to the top. This lesson. Okay. The lesson is now complete. Click the. Click select a group of recon. This lesson deals with selecting recon. ships. Recon, ready to go. You issue a command. Just tell me where to go. It is issued to all of the ships currently selected. Click an objective to continue with the lesson. How did I not? Left clicking on a ship by itself Just will select that word. ship. Oh. If the ship is in formation with other ships. Left-clicking it will select all the ships in the group. Roger, Command. Clicking the ship a second... Ready. The lesson is now complete. Click the Next Lesson button when you are ready to move on. You know, this has to be one of the best tutorials I've ever done, because it keeps up with the player and tells you everything you're supposed to do here in advance. I'm impressed so far. Roger, this lesson Command. covers... Fo okay. The lesson is now complete. Pretty straightforward. This sensors. lesson covers the Sensors Manager, which is a broad tactical overview of the mission area, and gives an introduction to the right-click menu. Activate the Sensors Manager to continue. The Sensors Manager can be accessed Space through the right-click menu. This is the Sensors Manager. This looks familiar. All of the commands you can issue from the main view, such as selecting, attacking, or moving, can also be issued here within the Sensors Manager. These commands will be discussed later. You can still click and hold the right mouse button to change your view, and click and hold both mouse buttons or the mouse wheel if you have it. You can you can exit Sensors Manager by using the right-click menu and selecting the heading. Okay, so the lesson is now complete. Click the Next Lesson button when you are ready to move on. 
Maybe I was wrong. That's all quite simple and familiar, actually. This lesson deals with moving ships and setting up patrol paths using waypoints. Click an objective to continue with the lesson. Underway, two coordinates now. Wow. Speedy. Oh, come on, that's not in the cluster of asteroids? I guess it's not in the cluster of asteroids enough. Underway. You guys are fast. Oh, come on. Coordinates locked in. Okay, so. Command. Now I need to create a normal, i.e., a linear path. Waypoints are a series of points in space which make up a path for a ship to move along. Receiving. As an example, this one I don't know. you can use waypoints to set up patrol paths, define a search pattern, or to move your ships around and away from large enemy forces. Go into the right-click menu and select Start Waypoints. Start Waypoints. This is the Waypoint Manager. It works exactly the same as the Movement Manager, only every time you left-click a specific point, the manager will mark the point and remain open so you can add new points to your waypoint path. There are three types of waypoint paths. Linear waypoint mode will direct the ships to follow the waypoints and wait at the end. End-to-end -end waypoint mode will instruct the ships to follow the waypoint path to the end, turn around, and follow the waypoints back again. The ships will continue to follow the path like this until they are instructed otherwise. Circular waypoint mode will instruct the ships to follow the waypoints. Then, when they reach the final waypoint, to head back to the first point and start following the path again, making a closed patrol loop. Okay. The ships will continue to follow this path until they are given other orders. These modes can be set by opening the right-click menu, selecting the heading Start Waypoints, and then selecting the waypoint mode you want from the subheadings. There you go. Once you have created the waypoint pattern you want, well, we pressing the W key will close the waypoint manager and set the selected ships along that path. Circular. Circular. Well, the lesson is now complete. Nice. Click the next lesson. Moving through this at a pretty good pace, actually. This lesson teaches how to issue Roger, attack commands. Click an objective to continue with the lesson. This Setting assigned group one. Target acquired. Oop, weapon. The lesson is now complete. Click the next. Build two workers. So these this are... lesson covers how to build ships. Well, that's a lot Ship of our construction use. is done in the build manager. Construction underway. Now, unlike original homeworld, do you have a certain number of support units? And every single ship you build takes away from those support units. So you're much more limited in terms of what you can actually build, and even capturing units adds to your support units. So if you capture a heavy cruiser, that's you gotta have enough support to actually capture it. So unfortunately we won't be building a massive fleet like we did in Homeworld 1. If you've watched that video. If not, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but oh well. Stand by group one. Moving to attack. Now, workers not only harvest... Nice spin. Target locked in. They harvest resources, they also repair, and they also salvage. They do pretty much everything in this game. So you don't have salvage corvettes and repair frigates and all those sort of things. You just have kind of one jack-of-all-trades. Well, they're quite good at what they do. Worker. Worker ready. Worker ready. Worker here. Yeah? Worker ready. Worker here. Worker ready. Yeah? Worker here. Let me at him. Recon, ready to go. Just tell me where to go. The lesson Just is now complete. Word. Click the next lesson button when you are ready to move on. Stand by group one. Underway. 
You also notice there's actually no more fuel left either. Wow, you're a four-star badass. Enemies gain... not enemies, but player craft actually gain experience for killing enemies in this one. This lesson covers the three important functions of a worker. Harvesting resources, repairing worker ships, ready. and salvaging. These three special abilities worker are good ready. examples Leave of context-sensitive actions. By learning how to use the worker's special abilities, you will learn how to use those of the other ships in your fleet. Note that the workers you have here in the tutorial are already upgraded with repair and salvaging technologies. Outside of this tutorial, in order to Great. use these abilities, the appropriate technology must be researched and workers must then be properly upgraded. Researching and upgrading will be covered later. Click an objective to continue with the lesson. This is command. I'm gonna blow your mind. So here's my mother ship, my command ship. Well, it can actually move the in this game. Fleet. Command ship is relocating. And it's also pretty Moving heavily armed. Core fleet. So that's two nice things about this game. Go repair beamy things. Yeah. I'm gonna get it closer Great. to the ion cannon frigate. Command ship is underway. Saw a lot of these. No world one. Tidan ion cannon. Yeah. You repaired. Worker ready. Salvaging. Fortunately, this thing isn't going to shoot back. <laughs> the destroyer kindly moves out of the way. Now, unfortunately, because these kind of do everything. Salvaging things. Enemy vessel now under fleet control. That's all it takes. Worker here harvesting. The lesson is go. now complete. Click the next lesson button Roger, when you are ready to move on. Underway. Advanced attacking formations and tactics. This lesson covers advanced topics in attacking, such as how to put a selection of ships into formation, and how to set tactics. Click an objective Ready. to continue with the lesson. Stand by Point Group 1, Delta. Now. Formation set. Are the workers with the acolytes? Escorts assigned. Form a select group of all recons and acolytes. Okay. Oh, those are my targeting. Ha! <laughs> They're my acolytes and my recons. Roger, command. Control two. Setting. The lesson is now complete. Nice. Click the next lesson button when you are ready to move on. Go. Researching and upgrading. This lesson covers how to research upgrades for your fleet. This is done through the research manager. Research underway. You can activate the research manager from the right click menu by selecting the heading view and the subheading research manager. Alternately, you can access the research manager by pressing the R key. Well, simple in this theory. is the research manager. You can move from the research manager to the other command function managers and back again through these buttons. Research completed. Link technology research has been completed. Any new acolytes you build will have this technology. As well, you can now upgrade previously built acolytes. Click the close button to exit research I manager. I tried. The research manager works a lot like the build manager. When you want to research a technology, click on it in the list on the left. I'm trying. You can then double click the technology or click the research button below to begin research. My praise for this tutorial As is going away. As in the build away. manager, clicking the info button will give more information on selected technologies. Upgrade the acolytes. Receiving. Going into docking pattern. So they actually have to go back to the ship, or to a carrier. But there they go. Acolyte locked down. Stand by, Group 1. And Compositing, underway. And link together. This is command. The lesson is now complete. Click the next lesson button when you are ready to move on. 
So these are my Corvettes, more or less. Two fighters linked together. Notice they actually still kept most of their stars, even though I combined them with guys that didn't have any training. Other features of interest. Lesson 12. This lesson covers various other features of Homeworld Cataclysm. Click an objective to continue. The tactical overlay shows ship types, paths, and other useful information. To turn the tactical overlay on or off, choose View and the subheading Tactical Overlay from the right-click menu. Let me at him. Chase camera view. To turn the pilot's eye view on or off, use the right-click menu, and from under the heading View, choose the subheading Pilot View. Coordinates locked in. Interesting, but not really that helpful. I'm on my way, Command. It makes for some interesting recording, though. If you're attacking an enemy ship. Turn off the pilot view. There we go. Uh, maybe I'll actually turn it off, because that's kind of annoying. Fortunately, I, I saw the shortcut on that menu. Retire a ship. To retire a ship, choose Retire Just from the right click where menu. To go. Retiring ships frees up support units and also returns a small amount of resource units to your RU total. Return ship and stand down. Stand down ship. And last not least, scuttle. If you are worried about your ship being captured, or you need the support units, you can order a ship to scuttle Let itself. Let me add To order a self-destruct or scuttle of a ship, select the ship and hit the shift plus the S keys. The ship will then ask for Just confirmation. Say the word. If you then hit the shift plus the S keys again quickly, it will self destruct. In single Done. player missions, you can use time compression. To this is the end of the Homeworld Cataclysm tutorial. All of the topics covered here are also explained in greater detail in the manual, Recon. along with Ready helpful quick keys and other useful information. Click the quit button to exit. Set self destruct now. Boom. Prepare to self-destruct. I am ejecting! I understand, ejecting. Bridge. I can't self-destruct the command we ship. We cannot do that. Command. Bridge. Cannot comply. Receiving. Abandon ship! May the martyrs Commandeered the ship Major. destroyed. May the martyrs what? I didn't catch that. Anyhow, that's the tutorial, viewers, and your introduction to Homo Cataclysm. When we come back, we'll start the game in earnest. Thank you for watching, if you watched. If not, hopefully, you aren't hearing this, because that would be weird. As always, viewers, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Let's Play Homo Cataclysm. See you then.